The famous caves at Cheddar Gorge and Wookie Hole attract thousands of visitors to Somerset. There are about 400 caves in the area, ranging from a few feet to complex systems, having five miles of known passages. These subterranean tracks, accessible only to cavers, attract over 50,000 enthusiasts to the area every year. These caves were formed by water action, where streams flow underground through fissures in the limestone rock, creating passages wide enough for cavers to explore. Accidents do occur, caused by falls, failures of equipment, lack of knowledge and flooding, regardless of the precautions taken. Cavers can become trapped by flooded passages or a sump. A sump is a U-bend completely filled with water, and these are created by flash floods. Cave rescues in this area are carried out on behalf of the police by experienced local volunteer cavers known as the Mendip Rescue Organization. A rescue is started via a 999 call to the police from the nearest available telephone. They will then contact and inform MRO on a predetermined action list, requesting the caller to stay by the telephone or call box to wait for contact by an MRO member. After obtaining the initial information, an MRO team and warden are sent to the cave. The team will enter to assess the situation. In this incident, cavers have been trapped by flood water. The Mendip rescue warden present has decided to call for assistance of the Somerset Fire Brigade. On the initial request, the brigade control room will send the two nearest fire engines, Land Rover and the rescue vehicle from Taunton Fire Station together with one officer for liaison purposes. On arrival, the MRO wardens brief the fire officer on the situation and the help required. The fire engines carry portable water pumps capable of moving 1,650 litres per minute together with 500 metres of 75 millimetre hose. Access to the majority of the caves is difficult, often down steep embankments or across muddy fields, the reason for the four-wheel drive Land Rover. The first task is to lower the amount of water entering the cave system. This can be achieved in two ways, by damming and diversion of flooded streams or using several portable pumps to move the water to a safe discharge area. An MRO warden will advise on a discharge point to prevent the water from re-entering the system below. A further complication can be the lack of air in passages cut off by flooding or by persons trapped in confined spaces. The fire hose can also be used as an airline for ventilation or for working air rescue tools underground. Ventilation is urgently required underground. The fire officer and MRO wardens await arrival of the rescue vehicle from Taunton, which carries the air compressor. The MROs have devised special couplings to fit onto the air compressor outlet and fire hose. The hose line is taken via the quickest route to the cave entrance. The air compressor is capable of supplying 47 litres per second via two outlets. The Mendip Rescue Organisation, together with the support of the public emergency services, have rescued over 630 people, involving 284 call-outs. Complicated rescues may take up to nine hours to complete. Thank you.